We're over here on First in Virginia this week for burrito review number 18. Kind of downtown-ish. I talked about five spot last week. There it is. Great breakfast burritos. But yeah, we're at First in Virginia, and this week we're doing La Saiba. La Saiba. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, this is the, my aunt's favorite place, and she eats there all the time. At least I think it is. She's always trying to describe it to me, and she can never remember the name. But I think this is the building she describes. But um, yeah, first in Virginia, La Saiba. See, downtown's kind of that way. See some of the bigger buildings. RIP Nipsey Hustle. La Saiba, let's give this a try. Burrito review number 18. Hello everybody, time for burrito review number 18. And this week we're going to La Ceiba, Mariscos and Taqueria. And uh, for those that don't know Mariscos, it's like seafood, like shrimp and shrimp cocktails. And man, the menu, all that stuff looked fantastic. I can't wait, um, you know, after the pandemic clears up, go enjoy a nice brunch in there. Have a nice Bloody Mary, some shrimp. It looks fantastic. But um, we do, you know how we do it. We do a Sada Burrito Regulars here on Dreadful Talk Burrito Review. And um, yeah, this is my aunt's favorite place. It's in the neighborhood I live in. I've driven past this place a million times. My aunt told me to go there a million times. And this is just my first um, time finding myself heading that way. Um, I've actually tried to go one time in the past and the parking situation is a nightmare. I, um, we actually had to walk like three blocks to get there, but we, we were determined this time. We didn't, we didn't let that get in our way. Um, also, um, got a little bit of feedback lately, kind of struggled to know what to do with it, but I get it. Some people don't want to hear me talk. They want to jump straight to the burrito review. Well, I'm not going to rush myself or, you know, really change how I'm doing things, but just definitely if you're, if you want to see, see me uh, do the burrito review, just fast forward to the part where you see me taking that first bite of the burrito. Easy fix for both of us. Um, but I appreciate everybody watching and everybody's feedback for sure. But yeah, we're doing La Ceiba this week. Um, it's on 1st in Virginia, just south of downtown uh, San Jose. Um, I, said, I do a soda burrito regular every week just to keep it apples to apples comparison. Try to be fair to everybody. This one doesn't look super big. But my wife got the super burrito and it is like a lot bigger. So, you know, it makes sense, I guess. And I just get the um, the regular instead of the super. That way there's less stuff kind of like covering up the flavor, I guess I would say, of like the meat. And like, you know, I don't want to just taste nothing but like lettuce and sour cream. You know what I mean? Um, we got some red sauce. We got some green sauce. It's always interesting to see. Which one I like better, that of red and green. All right, let's get this bad boy under the road. Burrito review number 18, La Saiba. Let's get it. Oh, man. Oh, wow. That is fire. Um, for those familiar with my burrito reviews, I often um, talk about whether or not there's enough char flavor on the asada. And man, this needs to be in the textbook next to the definition of char carne asada. Oh man. Like, you know that you can tell the difference when like when the flame actually touches the meat? And I haven't seen in this place's kitchen, but just from the flavor, I feel like it's like some real open flame grill going on because man, that char is perfect though. Wow. I've been sleeping on this place. This place is like three blocks from my house. Never eaten there. Like I said, I've driven past it. My aunt, who's you know, long time San Jose locals, recommended a million times. I'm sorry, Thea. I should have listened to you. Oh, this is so good. And I mentioned it may not be the biggest burrito ever, but filled to the brim with steak. I mean, that's full of steak. A um, little bit of rice, tiny bit of beans. Yeah, not a lot of filler, a lot of the good stuff, a lot of straight to the steak. Washing it down with some Jamaica this week. Made out of hibiscus. I love anything hibiscus. Hibiscus is so delicious. All right, let's try these sauces out. Oh 
Oh man. Good green sauce. I love when you can tell they roasted the peppers before they made the salsa. Next time I make my own salsa, I definitely gotta remember to do that. Oh man, that green sauce is good. Got that roasted flavor to it. Let's try this red sauce. Not a ton of heat coming from the green sauce, but um, a good salsa doesn't always have to, you know, burn your butthole hairs, you know? It's a <laughs> kind of a delicate dance between all the flavors. Okay, so very conflicting. So the red sauce, not a ton of flavor, but a ton of heat. That is spicy. Green sauce, phenomenal flavor, not a ton of heat. Yeah, I got my eyebrows sweating a little bit. Woo! There we go. Party got started. Man, and keep in mind, this is Asada burrito views. I'm only grading the Asada. Um, but it's crazy because this place specializes in shrimp and they may have the best goddamn steak that I've ever fucking had yet doing these burrito reviews, man. This is going to get a high score. See some cilantro and onions in there. I said, I'm a stickler for that. Like, in my opinion, it's not really authentic without cilantro and onions. Without cilantro and onions, it just sounds like something you can just like your friend's mom can make you or something. You know what I'm saying? Unless your friend's mom has a proper understanding of how to use cilantro and onions in their burritos. But in all seriousness, this is outstanding. I think I'm gonna have to go, man. I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna go 8.8, 8.8. .8. Flavor-wise, it's definitely in the nines. However, it is a little small, a little bit bigger. And this is the second week in a row where it's like, man, there's not a ton of rice and beans in here and watch it all be in the bottom like last week. But I get it. it you, it's hard to complain when it's full of delicious steak. But Part of the best things about burritos is how all the ingredients work together. And like I said, if I'm not necessarily getting all the ingredients, it's hard for me to give it a perfect score. But 8.8 is a really high score. Like anything in the 8th is a compliment. Anything in the 7s is like not bad. And this is getting really close to the 9s. I think I've only had one other place score in the 9s, if I'm not mistaken. And it was just as good as this. But it was like twice the size for the same price. I mean, it's got to factor in a little bit. Um, sauces, though, hats off to you on your sauces. If there was some sauce that had like the combination of the flavor of the green and the heat of the red, I mean, that would be perfection, too. That probably gets you up into the nines, into the godly levels. But so I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking a little bit, but when you get to that upper echelon, you know, it's, it's those little details that separate, you know, an 8.8 .8 from a from a 9 or a 9.5. Um, phenomenal, though. Phenomenal, though. Flavor-wise, like I said, the sauce, you got the spicy, you got the flavor. Oh, man. Char on the asada is on point. So, not a lot to say about the rice and beans because there's not a lot of rice and beans in there. I'm sweating <laughs> that red sauce, man. I'm telling you, thanks a punch. But um, not a lot to say about the rice and beans because there's not a lot of rice and beans in there. Some people would consider that a plus. I mean, it is a plus, let's be real. Like, who doesn't love a, a, a burrito full of delicious asada? But like I said, you know, to just reach them super upper echelon scores, you know, it needs to be a well-rounded, you know, in my opinion, kind of check all those boxes. But... Man, asada-wise and sauce-wise, this place kicks ass. I said the parking situation can be a little bit of an issue, but um, food and service is outstanding. La Saiba, Mariscos and Taqueria, first in Virginia, just south of downtown um, San Jose. Yeah, 8.8, .8, one of my highest scores. One of my highest scores. And like, um, like I said, I should have listened to my Theo a long time ago. This place kicks ass, man. So delicious. Um. 
My wife doesn't even hardly ever get asada. She usually gets either chicken or carnitas, and she is absolutely loving this asada. So she's not even really much of a red meat person, not much of a steak person. And she is absolutely loving this asada. So, I mean, I'm telling you, it's legit asada. But 8.8, .8, La Ceiba, like and subscribe. Um, Dreadful Talk Burrito Review number 18. Check out episode of Dreadful Talk Podcast. Or if you're into MMA and UFC, check out the Beefy Boys Breakdown on YouTube or wherever you get your audio podcast. Thanks, everybody.